This video is dedicated to a certain awkward topic that doesn't really fit in that well anywhere else. I want to talk about rationalizing the denominator. Now when you see this phrase, this means to take a fraction that has a square root in the denominator and rewrite it so there's no square root in the denominator. And there you have it. So let us do an example. Uh, let's do two examples. The first one being rationalize the denominator with the fraction 1 over square root 2. Okay, now 1 over square root 2 presently has a square root of 2 in the denominator. And our goal is to rewrite this fraction so that that square root of 2 is no longer in the denominator. Now when we say rewrite, we have to be really careful because when we rewrite something, it has to be exactly equal to what we started with. It has to be the same number, just looks different. And when we're dealing with fractions, there are pretty limited ways to rewrite a fraction. And one of the key ways to rewrite a fraction is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same thing. Do you have any ideas? What could we multiply to the numerator and denominator that would eliminate square root in the denominator? Now one way to eliminate the square root is to multiply by another copy of that square root. Because square root of 2 multiplied by itself, square root of 4 can be simplified and can become just 2. So what have we done? We have rewritten the fraction so that instead of having a square root in the denominator, we have a square root in the numerator. No more square roots left in the denominator. And so this would be our final answer. Now it seems a little strange why would we give this process a special name? And that's just because rewriting our fractions in this format can help us to get some consistency between what my answer looks like and what your answer looks like and what your classmates answer looks like. It just makes it easier for communication purposes. And this particular situation comes up very often in pre-calculus 2, what we call here math 142, because you're just dealing with such a huge number of quantities that have this general format, 1 over square root of something. And so if you're working with another person on a problem, it can be useful to be able to translate between a number in this format and a number in this rationalized format just so that you can tell whether you have the same answer to a question that your classmate has. Let's try it with one more example. Rationalize the denominator with 3 over square root 3. So I'm going to take 3 over square root 3 and I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by another copy of the denominator. That way the top becomes 3 times square root 3, the bottom becomes square root 9. Square root 9 can be simplified just to 3. Now at this point we have technically finished rationalizing the denominator but we are a little bit lucky now because that square root 3 in the top and the bottom can be canceled out. Excuse me, that 3 in the top and the bottom can be canceled out. 
And that leaves us with something which I think is objectively much simpler than it was before. Square root of 3 by itself. All right. So in general, if you're asked to rationalize the denominator, all that you need to do is multiply the top and bottom by another copy of the denominator. So let's just finish this by summarizing that. To rationalize the denominator of a fraction, multiply top and bottom, the numerator and denominator, by a copy of the denominator. And that'll do it.